Hello everybody. It's that college football guy here in another video. I'm uh I'm rocking right now, but it's not because of being loaded. I'm actually at a uh, rest area outside of Horse Cape, Kentucky here on I-65 North, and the wind is what's rocking the truck. Yeah, it's blowing pretty good out here, and the rain's coming down pretty hard. Um, another of the uh, what could have been videos, I'm going to get to the other stuff that's going on in college football right now. Had a great video idea about Miami I'm going to be doing later on, but right now I've got a couple more video ideas than what could have been. Something pertinent pops off right now. We'll see what happens. Uh, for those who ask me in private messages, no, nothing on UNC filing a lawsuit yet. At least that I have by the time I'm recording this video, so we'll see. All right. Scotty B. the Baylor King. He was going to propose this idea long before the Pac-12 imploded, long before this ACC problem existed. What would have happened if the SEC and ACC would have merged, basically become a super version of the old Southern Conference? Um, how would this would have worked? I mean, most of these big, it's nice to talk about them for nostalgia purposes. We know realistically this not wouldn't have happened. I mean, but look at this one here. You have in the SEC, of course, you got Georgia, Missouri, Tennessee, Kentucky. Florida, South Carolina, Vanderbilt, Alabama, Ole Miss, LSU, Texas A&M, Auburn, Mississippi State, and Arkansas. ACC with Florida State, Louisville, NC State, Georgia Tech, Virginia Tech, Clemson, Duke, North Carolina, Boston College, Miami, Syracuse, Pitt, Virginia, and Wake Forest. Um, I mean, it's a it's a nice thing to, to think about it. What, what could have been? I mean, the 2018 conference would be too big. Now. So would this realistically have happened? We all know. No, it wouldn't have. It, it wouldn't have happened. But the thing I'm going to change on this here, because <laughs> travel-wise, it's just too many spots. Basketball, it's just the size. It's just too big. It's just too big. Now, what if this was a super merger of the elites? Who are the... T okay. Florida, ACC wise, Florida State, uh, you add throw in North Carolina, you got to throw in Clemson. Brand wise, would you, throw in, would you throw in Duke for football, Louisville, NC State, Miami, Virginia Tech? I mean, who are the 8B you'd have from the ACC? Um, Virginia doesn't do that much about it. Would you swap out Virginia Tech for Pitt? And the SEC, we're talking about. Georgia, Tennessee, you're talking floor, brand names, Florida, you're talking Alabama, Ole Miss, LSU, Texas A&M, Auburn. Uh, would you throw Missouri? Would you throw in Kentucky? Extra wide load going behind me right now. He is heavy. Um, he's literally shaking the ground right now. I can feel him. Damn. He's taking up three parking spaces. <laughs> okay, buddy. Um, but yeah, look, look at it this way. Is, that may be the challenge for doing some of these. Like Most of these would say because of politics, of people arguing, the ACC because of academics, the SEC because of lack of football brands, everybody will be complaining. Um, and it's understandable. I mean, with the... Like they say, the ACC schools, we wouldn't want to travel to Texas. Well, you're doing that already and going to California. So how's that working for you? We'll have to find out on that one this coming fall, won't we? Um, it's an interesting question, though. Like I said, it would be if you took the top 16 from both conferences, it doesn't have to be balanced. Can I record this video before you continue to rock my damn truck? Wind is not letting up. Luckily, there's no, it's not dark enough or strong enough for funnel clouds, so relax. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't be recording this video. I'd be going somewhere else. Um, <laughs> pretty interesting. Like, if you could, and this would be a question for all of you, the SEC ACC merger, if it did, it happened, this was what could have been, it wouldn't have. Politics, education, ego, it wouldn't have happened. 
But my question to you is this. I'm going to go through the lists one more time. And I want you to tell me if you could put together a 16-team super conference between these two. You got the pick from the list from both. Who would you make? Doesn't have to be balanced. Who would you make as a 16-team conference? Would you put them in divisions? Would you just let them go whatever and we had the best two fight in the championship game or no championship game? A little challenge for all of you, wouldn't it? I mean, it's a t it's. I mean, I look at I look at. You got to have Florida State for me. You have to have Clemson. You have to have Miami. You have to have North Carolina. You have to have NC State. To me, you have to have Louisville. There's the top six. Do you want Duke? Do you want Virginia Tech? Do you want Pitt? That's you know that's kind of where I'm at on that one. And then you got. Georgia, Tennessee, Florida, Alabama, Ole Miss, LSU, Texas A&M, Auburn. You could float the rest. I mean, you want to bring in Missouri? Do you want to bring in Kentucky? Do you want to bring in South Carolina? Do you want to bring in Mississippi State or Arkansas? So that's the question. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's going to be the question and the challenge for this one to all of you. Who would it be? If you could make a super conference using both lists, who would you be? I just gave you kind of... I, I'd have to sit down and do it. Maybe that'll be a challenge. I mean, the old, you pick the two mergers. Who'd be the ultimate 16-team conference or your ultimate... Who would be the ultimate 32? Do I think a super league's going to happen? I don't think the SEC and the Big Ten want that to happen because they know it'll hurt them long term. I think they want to have just more control and bigger piece of the pie. That's my opinion. But let's ask the question here for you. If you had the chance to pick between the two, who would it be? I'm going to go through the list again. You can pick a 16 team conference. Who would you pick? Out of the note, you don't have to pick X number out of the SEC and X number out of the ACC. You just pick whoever you want. The 16. Would you do divisions? Would you have a championship game? Would it be, you know, best two in the championship game, no championship game? How would you work it out? So I'm going to go through the list again. SEC, Georgia, Missouri, Tennessee, Kentucky, Florida, South Carolina, Vanderbilt, Alabama, Ole Miss, LSU, Texas A&M, Auburn, Mississippi State, and Arkansas. ACC, it's prior to all the stuff happening. Florida State, Louisville, NC State, Georgia Tech, Virginia Tech, Clemson, Duke, North Carolina, Boston College, Miami, Syracuse, Pitt, Virginia, and Wake Forest. Of those six, of those 28 teams, who would you make your 16-team super conference out of? Why don't you let me know your thoughts on that down in the comments. So thanks, everybody, for watching the video. Um, if you haven't done it already, do me, a, do me a favor, please. Smash the like button, hit the thumbs up. It helps. Trust me, it helps. Commenting on the video helps. Helps a lot. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Share the video if you want to. And if you haven't done it, first of all, if you subscribe to the channel, thank you for doing so. If you had not already, check out some of the other videos I've done. And if you like them, hit subscribe to the channel. You know, just on the way to 600 subscribers. We keep going back and forth on subscriber count. Hopefully, eventually, we'll get our way up to 600. And we'll see what happens here. Um, follow me on Twitter, on X right now if you want to. Um, the link will be in the description. So again, thanks everybody. I got to get going out of here because I got to try to get to upstate Michigan. I'm right outside of Lansing delivering in the morning, except I'm not be able to park overnight. So I got to find somewhere on the way up in the early evening, which is going to make things difficult. I may be parking an hour or so away because I won't find parking, but that's just the way it goes. At least you held off a little bit. <laughs> the wind. All right. So thanks everybody for watching. Um, because of the wind and what's going on, it's I haven't seen that many uh, high patrolmen out or anybody on the inter interstates right now checking for speeders. It's been kind of dialed down. But that's in Tennessee and Kentucky. It's all I've done so far. So be mindful out on the roads. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Be safe out there, and please be good to each other.